So Realme UI is a thing and it will be coming to more Realme devices soon. And of course, if you buy a new one, you'll be getting it. So how does it compare to Xiaomi's Mi UI? Both have dedicated dark modes and system-wide dark mode was one of the upgrades of Mi UI 11. You can schedule the time for dark modes every day on both of the operating systems, but I much prefer the dark mode on Realme UI. It is a proper system-wide dark mode. For Mi UI, however, even in dark mode, a lot of system system apps still aren't dark. For example, the file manager and really most system apps like the App Store just don't turn dark, whereas on Realme UI, they are all in dark mode. The notification shade on both is the same. You get all the same buttons, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. What I like about both is you can long press Bluetooth, for example, or the Wi-Fi button, for example, and it takes you into the bigger settings pages. That is something that I still lament not being able to do on iOS. Another thing is that they both have this airdrop feature, which you can turn on if you have an Oppo, Realme, Xiaomi, or Vivo smartphone. This is very similar to the airdrop feature on iOS where you can really quickly and easily transfer files and it's much much quicker than Bluetooth. As far as animations go I don't think there's any difference really in terms of flicking in and out of apps. Long holding apps to move them around it is all the same. Animations are very short and sweet on both without too much nonsense which is in my opinion a good thing and both of these phones have a 120 hertz display so that definitely is going to help things. There are differences in the stock apps between the two phones the biggest difference in the music app is that Xiaomi treat it as a music store where you can browse lots of different media, music and videos, whereas on Realme UI it really is just a stock music player. In the stock photos app you can browse photos by photos, albums. Mi UI has a memories feature which is I guess an attempt to slightly emulate the feature on iOS, whereas on Realme UI you have the explore tab. It can also group photos by different types, for example people, locations and architecture. You can pinch and zoom in and out of both to get different time periods for your photos. You can also go into each photo, zoom in on it, pinch out of it, edit it, delete it, or you can share each photo from the app as well. Calendar, weather apps, app stores, calculators, file managers, contacts, phone apps, wallets, notes, clocks, they just have different designs, but of course they do exactly the same things. I quite like that both of them have this money conversion feature in each of the native calculator apps. That is really useful. Something I was a little upset about that MIUI 11 changed was the process for deleting apps. Beforehand, you could long press each app and there would just be a drop down menu and one of the options would be to uninstall the app. Now on MIUI, you have to long press the app, go into app info, and then delete the app from there. It's an extra unnecessary step in my opinion. Whereas on Realme UI, you still have that very easy option. Long press the app, and up comes the drop down menu. One of the options is uninstall, and of course you have the other options too. A swipe down anywhere on the screen in MIUI brings down the notification shade. On Realme UI, if you swipe down from the middle of the screen, it brings this search menu where you can search through the phone. A similar thing in MIUI is done by swiping up anywhere on the screen, and it brings up this search bar where you can browse the internet the phone and have some different media. Cycling through the apps has a different design in both, but it's the same thing. You either swipe up or swipe left to close an app. Same thing, different design. Both have game modes too. You swipe from the corner of the screen to bring it down when you are playing a game. You can turn on and off settings, turn on and off messages. You can also keep an eye on how much of the CPU is being used and what the frame rate of the game you're playing is. In both of the app stores, you can search for any of the apps, of course, and you update your apps in the app stores too. You can turn off automatic downloading of apps and upgrading, or you can do it manually. Of course, if you are outside of China, you'll just be using the Google Play Store. First, you get the display settings on both, and in display settings, you can change the refresh rates on both of these phones. It seems like you can customize the way notifications come in and also the notification shade a little bit more on MIUI. You have a couple of options, whereas on real MIUI, it looks like you just are left with the stock way that Android does it. The news and events panel on both is again the same, step trackers, parcel tracking, and some shortcuts to some apps that you often use. You can do that on both of the operating systems. Power saving and battery modes are also present on both. Realme UI just adds this performance mode, which we also see in Huawei phones. On Mi UI, there's no option for that, but there are automatic power saving modes, battery saving and ultra battery saving modes on both. Realme have definitely sorted out the camera app on Realme UI. It's much better 
than I remember it even from a few months before with some of their earlier phones. Beforehand, lots of the menus were in this left-hand side drop up menu, but now most of those things are placed down at the bottom and you can scroll through them left and right. If you press settings on both, you can of course change frame rates and resolutions for video. You also have HDR options, AI options, and also color options. Most of those are at the top of the settings. You can also go further into settings, for example, to remove watermarks. On Realme UI, you have to go into the settings page on for some of them. And for me UI, some of them are placed more easily at the top and vice versa for other settings. The the shortcut to the Photos app on both is at the bottom left of the screen just by the capture button. So at the moment, Realme UI is still just really a skin on top of Color OS. It is very similar, but there are some changes coming through. Whether you like Mi UI or Realme UI obviously is up to you, but it's good to know that more or less they offer the same features on both of the phones. Subscribe for the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.